Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about a kettlebell two-hand sidestep swing. For the most part, we do the majority of our kettlebell training without moving our feet so that we can work on our basics and we can go up in weight. That usually gets people the most athletic development in the least amount of time. But often, when you do not have an ability to go up in weight, you will add complexity to the basic movements you already know in a bunch of predictable ways so that you can continue your athletic development without the need for new equipment. The swing is the most fundamental action that you can learn with a kettlebell and everything else is based on that. Specifically the two-handed swing, then the single hand swing, moving into the hand-to-hand -hand swing. Today we're gonna to talk about the two-handed swing. Let's review the basic two-handed swing quickly. Point your feet generally straight ahead, at the top of the movement, you're going to push your knees back, put your weight in your heels, pull your quads up, squeeze your glutes and drive your rib cage down to make your body as strong as possible. The kettlebell will be 12 to 18 inches in front of your toes. Judo chop the hips, push the hips back, weight stays in the heel. The knees generally stay behind the line of the toes for now. There are versions of the kettlebell swing where your knees track forward. This is not one of them. Push those hips back, two hands on, fire the lats, drive the shoulders away from the ear, hike the weight back, snap your hips, stand up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Set the kettlebell down with good technique. Now let's add some foot movement that can be done in a small space. We would start our swing at the apex of our swing when we're achieving our glute squeeze, bring our feet all the way together. Make your feet wide, bring your feet together. Make your feet wide, bring your feet together. Make your feet wide, bring your feet together. Now let's demonstrate it with the kettlebell. Starting from our normal swing position, two feet pointed straight ahead, hike the weight back at the apex, Feet together, on the way down, feet apart, on the way up, feet together, on the way down, feet apart. Always set the kettlebell down with good technique. Most people get hurt after the last rep before the kettlebell touches the ground because they quit paying attention to their structure and form before the weight is back on the ground. So why would you do a move like this? Simple, moving your feet is a basic human skill in order of importance of learning. Learning to stand all the way up is the most important thing that we learn. All of your basic kettlebell exercises are about that. The swing is about that, the clean is about that, the snatch is about that, the press is about that, the Turkish get up is about that. Learning to stand is something that should be fundamental to humans, but as the world gets more techy and people do less physical labor, our standing structure gets worse on average across the entire population. And that leads to a lot of health trouble. After we learn to stand, then we start to learn to move our feet. There are general ways to move your feet, and usually those are covered by various types of martial arts or dance. A lot of the population no longer studies dance, and a large percent of the population no longer studies classical martial arts where you would fight multiple attackers as martial arts were designed for several thousand years. Now martial arts are much more specialized. They tend to be focused on dueling two people of equal size fighting each other in a ring for time. That has its own very specific type of foot movement depending on the rules of that martial art. Martial arts that focus on fighting multiple people focus a lot on things like turning around or getting wide, bringing your feet close together, setting up for various types of movements. There are basic generic ways that you move your feet. This is just one simple way to start learning to move your feet. This is not specific to any martial art technique. It's just helping people learn to shift their weight from side to side. In order to be good at advanced athletic movement, we would like to spend a lot of time focusing on our basic athletic movement. Every time we change the stepping pattern, that will be a new athletic movement. The important things for this one are basic two hand swing, get the hips back, snap your hips up as hard as possible, squeeze your glutes at the top, drive your rib cage down. The kettlebell does not need to track up. It should be shoulder height or below 
so that people can learn to maintain that lat fire to stabilize their shoulder. This is a simple shuffle step. Bring your feet together, go wide, load the hip. Bring your feet together, go wide, load the hip. This will translate towards single leg balance moves later in training, but it is always a good idea to start with the absolute basics so that you have a strong foundation to move forward.